Lady Danny here and someone recently told me that they enjoy the process of foraging they don't actually use what they pick up and I wanted to stop that by showing you how easy it is to incorporate things that you forage or weeds that pop up in your everyday meals so I'm gonna make some gremolata gremolata is an Italian condiment that combines parsley lemon zest and garlic you can use it to enhance the flavor of many dishes including chicken and fish or you can add it to breadcrumbs for a topping. And although some people add olive oil, I like to keep it lighter. I'm going to begin by swapping the usual suspects for my wild plant. I'm going to swap wood sorrel for that citrusy burst of lemon. And instead of the traditional Italian flat leaf parsley, I'm going to use leaves of my gout weed or ground elder. Now I am going to use traditional garlic, but as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I had swapped the garlic for garlic mustard? That's a thought for next time. So I'm going to begin by cleaning the wood sorrel. I like to remove the large stems and then give it a fine chop. Now you can certainly do this with a food processor, but I like to be in control of how big the leaves are. And the food processor can leave it a bit mushy. After finishing with the wood sorrel, I simply roll my Bishop Scout weed and give it a bit of a chiffonade. I'll do this several times to get the length of leaf that I like, but again, I prefer doing this by hand as opposed to a food processor. When it comes to the garlic, you might want to use a food processor as opposed to a knife so that you don't get chunks of garlic, but I prefer a microplane grater. Now you do have to be careful with your fingers, but I do like the microplane because it gives a consistently nice size of the garlic that incorporates really well into the green. Once that's finished, it's time for a quick mix and a pinch of pink salt and a bit of a taste. It's fresh, lemony, garlicky, everything I'm looking for. I'm going to use this fresh on some fish, but you can add olive oil and put it in the fridge for a few days. I hope you'll try it and enjoy.